The next case is the pulse transformer. The transformer consists of primary and secondary windings. There are 13 turns in the primary winding and 200 turns in the secondary winding. The coils are placed inside the ferrite core. The coils carry a pulsed current. And the form of the pulses is the saw. To reduce the cross situation, there is the air gap. And our task is to calculate the magnetic field value radiated through the air gap. Here is the quick field simulation problem. The problem type is transient magnetic field and the model class is axisymmetric. We have the cylindrical symmetry in the model. And we have the electric circuit connected. For transient problems, the time step value and the integration period should be specified. And here is the geometry model. In the geometry model I have the air and for the air the magnetic permeability is specified. I have the ferrite core and the permeability of the core is 400. And I have the primary and the secondary winding. For the winding I specify the magnetic permeability of copper, the winding is made of copper, and the conductivity. The turns are connected in series and the field source is specified in electric circuit. And this is the electric circuit. Here you can see the current sources connected to the windings. These are the currents measured in real device and our task is to calculate the magnetic field produced by these currents. The currents are defined using the SOW function here is the SOW function definition Now let's take a look at the simulation results. There are field and the circuit parts in this problem. In the field part you can see the field distribution. This is the field distribution in some moment of time. You can choose the moment of time to display the field values at, at other moments. And you can choose what values to display. Let's switch on the color plot of the flux density. I will switch on the animation. The red zone is 
the area where the magnetic flux density is above 1 millitesla. And I can get the exact values in every point. And I can see how the flux density changes in time. Now this is the answer. We know the flux density value and we know the frequency and the shape of the flux density. This was the field part of the simulation and we have the circuit part. In the circuit part I can see the currents in the windings and I can see the voltage pulses in the windings.